To begin with, Earth is rotating on its axis at the familiar rate of one revolution per day. For those of us living at Earth's mid-latitudes, including the United States, Europe and Japan, the rate is almost a thousand miles an hour. is higher at the equator and lower at the poles. In addition to this daily rotation, Earth orbits the Sun at an average speed of 67,000 miles per hour, or 18.5 miles a second. Shocking, right? Let's elaborate how these things happen in this video. There are a lot of moving parts to the universe as nothing exists in isolation. There are literally trillions of large masses in our solar system all orbiting around the galactic center on timescales of hundreds of millions of years. But there's a viral video, parts one and two, that claims that as the solar system moves through the galaxy, it makes a vortex shape, pulling the planets behind it as it does. But our true cosmic address and our real cosmic motion is far more complex and interesting than a mere model such as this, which is fascinating because it's all governed by one simple law, general relativity. On the larger scales, it's only gravity that determines the motion of everything, including us, as we move through the universe. True facts are, the planets orbit the sun, roughly in the same plane. The solar system moves through the galaxy with about a 60 degree angle between the galactic plane and the planetary orbital plane. The sun appears to move up and down and in and out with respect to the rest of the galaxy as it revolves around the Milky Way. And those things are true. But none of them are true the way they're shown to us. And that's the important difference between qualitative and quantitative. And quantitatively, we not only predict, but can measure exactly how our motion works. It isn't a vortex, but what it is exactly is fascinating. Here we are on planet Earth, which spins on its axis and revolves around the Sun, which orbits in an ellipse around the center of the Milky Way, which is being pulled towards Andromeda within our local group, which is being pushed around inside our cosmic supercluster, Lania Kia, by galactic groups, clusters, and cosmic voids, which itself lies in the KBC void amidst the large-scale structure of the universe. After decades of research, science has finally put together the complete picture and can quantify exactly how fast we're moving through space on every scale. The planets both rotate on their axis and revolve around the sun. Even though you perceive yourself as stationary, we know at a cosmic level that simply isn't true. As the Earth rotates on its axis, it hurtles us through space at nearly 1,700 kilometer for someone on the equator. That might sound like a big number, but relative to the other contributions to our motion through the universe, it's barely a blip on the cosmic radar. That's not really all that fast if we switch to thinking about it in terms of kilometers per second instead. The Earth spinning on its axis gives us a speed of just 0.5 kilometers per s, or less than 0.001% the speed of light. But there are other motions that matter more. Much like all the planets in our solar system, Earth orbits the Sun at a much speedier clip than its rotational speed. In order to keep us in our stable orbit where we are, we need to move at right around 30 kilometers per s. The inner planets, Mercury and Venus, move faster, while the outer worlds like Mars and beyond move slower than this. The difference is severe. Mercury makes about four orbits for every one of Earth's, and it takes Neptune over 160 Earth orbits before it's completed even one revolution. Moreover, as the planets orbit in the plane of the solar system, they change their direction of motion continuously with Earth returning to its starting point after 365 days. 
well, almost to its same exact starting point, because even the Sun itself isn't stationary. Our Milky Way galaxy is huge, massive, and most importantly, is in motion. All the stars, planets, gas clouds, dust grains, black holes, dark matter, and more move around inside of it, contributing to and affected by its net gravity. From our vantage point, some 25,000 light years from the galactic center, the Sun speeds around in an ellipse, making a complete revolution once every 220, 250 million years or so. It's estimated that our Sun's speed is around 200, 220 kilometers per s along this journey, which is quite a large number compared both Earth's rotation speed and its speed of revolution around the Sun, which are both inclined at an angle to the Sun's plane of motion around the galaxy. Throughout it, though, the planets remain in the same plane, with no dragging or vortex patterns emerging. But the galaxy itself isn't stationary, but rather moves due to the gravitational attraction of all the overdense matter clumps and equally due to the lack of gravitational attraction from all of the underdense regions. Within our local group, we can measure our speed towards the largest massive galaxy in our cosmic backyard, Andromeda. It appears to be moving towards our Sun at a speed of 301 kilometers per s, which means, when we factor in the motion of the Sun through the Milky Way, that the local group's two most massive galaxies, Andromeda and the Milky Way, are headed towards each other at a speed of around 109 kilometers per s. When you add all of these motions together, the Earth spinning, the Earth revolving around the Sun, the Sun moving around the galaxy, the Milky Way headed towards Andromeda, and the local group being attracted to the overdense regions and repulsed by the underdense ones, we can get a number for how fast we're actually moving through the universe at any given instant. We find that the total motion comes out to 368 kilometers per s in a particular direction, plus or minus about 30 kilometers per s depending on what time of year it is and which direction the Earth is moving. This is confirmed by measurements of the cosmic microwave background, which appears preferentially hotter in the direction we're moving and preferentially colder in the direction opposite to our motion. If we ignore the Earth's rotation and revolution around the Sun, we find that our solar system is moving relative to the CMB at 3688 2 kilometers per s. When you throw in the motion of the local group, you get that all of it, the Milky Way, Andromeda, the Triangulum Galaxy, and all the others, are moving at 627, a me 22 kilometers per s relative to the CMB. That larger uncertainty, by the way, is mostly due to uncertainty in the Sun's motion around the galactic center, which is the most difficult component to measure. So friends, what do you think about this theory? Write your views in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get interesting videos. If you like the video, please like and share the video.